So your fajita machine is working. It's now a thing and you're making tapas for the whole neighborhood. But Bernie next door is kind of looking at your fajita machine and you're thinking to yourself, maybe I need a patent on this thing. But patents are expensive. They take some time and they're a bit of trouble. Is it worth it to patent your fajita machine? Well, today I want to talk about a simple four-part test I have for helping determine whether a patent is worthwhile or not for your invention. Four things to consider when thinking about getting a patent, and I call this test the four P's. Hi, my name is John Farrell. I'm a patent attorney. Welcome back to my channel. Patents are powerful in the US. They're prestigious. They denote innovation. They denote novelty. When you have a patent, it chills the marketplace. When you're awarded a utility patent, you're granted a monopoly to exclude others from making, using, selling, or offering to sell your invention in the United States for 20 years from the date of filing. You can have illegal infringing imports seized and destroyed at the border. And in the case of willful infringement, you may be entitled to up to treble damages for the harm you've received as a result of the infringement. But patents are expensive. Even if you do it yourself, the cost of a patent will likely be several thousand dollars over the life of the patent. And if you have a professional help you, it's likely to be 10 times that. And one of the negatives about the US patent system is that when your patents are infringed, it's often difficult to find the resources to stop the infringement. I've talked about the Amazon Neutral Patent Evaluation Program in an earlier video. I really love this program because it enables small inventors to stop sellers of infringing products on the Amazon marketplace. And honestly, this is a big deal because Amazon has market power. If you can't sell on Amazon, you're excluded from a really big market. And it's really difficult to remain viable as a small seller without the Amazon marketplace of being available to you. So when is a patent worth it? Well, that's a hard question to answer and it's very personal to you and to your situation and to your invention. But I have a test, a really simple four part test. I call it the four P's and it's useful in helping you consider whether a patent is worthwhile for you. Now the first P of this four part test stands for product. You need to have a product. If you don't have a product, then you probably don't need a patent. If your invention is an idea, if it's an aspiration, if it's a dream, if it's something you would like to have or like to do sometime in the future, but you're just not sure that you'll ever get to it, then you really don't have a product and you probably don't need a patent. The second P stands for plan. You need to have a plan for your product. The difference between a hobbyist and a business is that businesses all have plans. Now the plan can be a plan to license. It can be a plan to go find a manufacturer to build a product for you and pay you royalties. For you to sit back in your hammock and collect mailbox money each month. That's a plan, but you gotta have a plan to get there. Now your plan may be to build a business, to venture, for you to find a way to design and manufacture, to advertise and market your own product and to sell products and to build a business around your product. Now that's a plan. And if you have a product and if you have a plan, a patent may still be right for you. The third P is that you're gonna need paying customers. Now you may not have paying customers right now, but you gotta find a way to get to paying customers. Now it's okay to build product and to give them away. It's okay to share your product with friends. It's okay to have a hobby where you use your product in the hobby. But if you don't have paying customers, you probably don't need a patent. I got a call from an inventor a few years ago. He was a car enthusiast from Chino. And he worked on a special kind of car. It was a modified roadster car. And he developed a tool for adjusting his brakes, the brakes of his car. And he was thinking about getting a patent on his 
brake tool because he, he really always wanted a patent. Now in reality, he had no interest in selling his brake tool because there were only a few cars in the world that really needed the brake tool. But in this case, he wanted the patent. He wanted to put a patent up in his garage so he could show off to his friends. Is that a good reason for a patent? I don't know, it's expensive wallpaper, but certainly he didn't have a product. And so in analyzing his invention in light of the four Ps, there were no paying customers. So he probably shouldn't be getting a patent. Now the fourth P is profit. And this seems relatively basic, but it's surprising how many inventors decide they really want a patent, they need a patent, but don't have any way of getting to a profit. Now, if you can't sell your product to paying customers for a profit, then you're not going to be able to earn enough money from the product to pay for the patent. There may be other reasons you want to get the patent, but from a business standpoint, you need to have profitable products with paying customers in order to pay for the patent. So bottom line is, if you're not making a profit on your product, you're really just running a hobby, you're not running a business, you probably don't need a patent. Okay, that's really all I have to say today about whether patents are worth it. If you got some other criteria, other reasons, other thoughts or stories you'd like to put down in the comment section, I would love to read them. But in the meantime, thanks so much for staying. Thank you so much for watching my videos and coming back to my channel. See you next time.